Hi everyone, it's Don from Don's Family Vacation. I'm getting a lot of requests lately for people to, for me to give my opinion on certain ships and certain itineraries and things like that. So uh, I thought I'd start off and over the next uh, little while I'm going to try and get to as many of those requests as possible. And what's up today? Well, we're talking about a ship that's going to be brand new for everybody and it's Carnival's Horizon, their brand new Vista class ship and some of the fun things that's going to be added to that and see if it's worth your money to go on this Carnival Horizons cruise. Let's talk about it right after this. Carnival Horizons, the newest Vista class ship, is going to be the largest ship Carnival is sailing. And it's going to make its home in the port of Miami, and it's going to be sailing mostly Caribbean, Eastern, Western, Southern Caribbean cruises, mostly six and eight day cruises uh, for that period of time. But it looks like it's going to be a great ship. First of all, it's got all the things that the Vista class is known for. It's got the Skyrider Cycles. It's got the IMAX Theater. It's got the 4D Thrill Theater. And it's got that huge sport deck up top. They can play basketball, ping pong, mini putt, you name it. It's got it. As for a little bit for the kids, it's also got that water park and it's not just the normal water park anymore. It's Dr. Seuss themed and as you can see it's bright, it's colorful, it's got four different slides, it's got curling slides, it's got two side by side racing slides and lots of water, lots of area for the kids to just run around and have a great time in. And that's one of the downfalls on some of the carnival ships is that their water park seems to be a little condensed. This one looks like it's big, large, and spread over a good chunk of the ship. Now, if you don't have kids and you want to get someplace a little bit more quieter for the adults, they have a serenity area in the back of the ship now, which is also huge and it's adult only. It's got a couple hot tubs, lots of lounges, and it's on an upper deck, so it's got great views of the ocean and the ports as you're sailing to and from. So if you need that quiet time, take a look at the serenity. Entertainment on the ship is going to be top-notch for Carnival Cruises. They're bringing out their big guns, they're getting headliner comedy acts for the comedy club, all for that initial inauguration, the first year of that sailing, just to launch their brand new ship and show everyone how excited they are to see it. Not only that, there's going to be piano lounges, you still have the Blue Iguana Bar and all the different places to entertain yourselves. Uh, around the ship. They have the uh, improv area, they have the um, game shows still going on. Like I said, the movie theaters, the splash parks, all those things are still going on. And then they also have the dining. And everyone knows Carnival is big with Guy Ferrari's burgers. Everybody raves about these big burgers. Well, guess what? Carnival has now added Guy's Smokehouse Barbecue to the Carnival Horizons ship. And it is a combination smokehouse and brew pub where they're gonna brew their own beer on the ship as well. So for all you people who love smoked food, it's like the smokehouse and good steaks and good barbecue and have a good draft while you're there, you're gonna have to try out Guy Ferrari's new barbecue smokehouse, the first one on Carnival and it's going on the horizon. Barbecue isn't the only food they have going on. They have the Bonsai Sushi, which is a very popular restaurant on the Vista. But guess what? They're also got Bonsai Teppanaki, where the uh, chefs will prepare the meal in front of you at those tables, doing all their tricks that they do. And uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite restaurants here in Canada and Ottawa, where I live. I happen to have a very good one here in town. And if I have anybody that I'm entertaining or anything like that, those are my go-to restaurants to go to. So I can't wait to try out the Bonsai Tepanaki on the horizon as well. What else? Well, you have the main dining room. It looks spacious. Um, from all the pictures and diagrams I've seen, a lot of cruise ships tend to take their main dining and they squeeze as many tables in as possible. They look like they built this ship 
specifically to have more room, more family rooms. So that's a very good sign for this ship. The tables seem to be a lot more spread out in the main dining room. Also, you're going to have the Italian restaurant. You're going to have um, the Mexican area restaurant. You got all kinds of things just going on for food. Uh, the sweet shops, you name it. You're going to be very, very well looked after if you're hungry on the Carnival Horizon. And of course, for all we can't disregard the spa area on the horizon. If you just need that relaxing time and get a nice massage or a facial treatment or something along those lines, they spend no expense in the spa area on this ship. It's got some of the best views that you'll ever get on a cruise ship. And I can pretty much guarantee the staff is going to be fantastic as well because this is going to be their premier ship. So they're going to have the best of the best staffing this ship. I can pretty much guarantee it. So there you go. It's a large ship. The rooms are all fantastic. Speaking of rooms, they also have family staterooms going into this ship. And they're not just in a certain class. You can now get the, the stateroom, family staterooms with a big nautical theme in two areas, in inside cabin, ocean view, balcony, suites. It's just not limited to an inside cabin or the odd ocean view cabin. They're coming in all shapes and sizes now, so I can't wait to see what they look like when we get on board. So should you be excited about the Carnival Horizon if you like to sail on Carnival? Well, it's their biggest ship. They got new dining experiences. They have all the upgraded amenities that you get on the Vista class, brand new spa areas, top-notch entertainment, the new Dr. Seuss water park for the kids, Bonsai Tapanaki. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much looking forward to this. IMAX theaters, the Sky Riders, the Rope Course, you name it, they have an awful lot on it. The only thing they don't have is that flow rider where I can make a fool of myself, but. Maybe they'll think of it for an upgrade. So, uh, in the meantime, that's the Carnival Horizon. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more ship reviews and my opinion on some of these cruise lines and destinations and see some travel vlogs coming up very shortly, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a safe and a great vacation.